Welcome to this very special fan-requested matchup. Trevor Thomas. I always liked Robbie too. The peaks of those biceps, a lot like Arnold's. They are a lot like Arnold's. He wants to see a matchup between Robbie and the Oak. Wow. Robbie Robinson, my favorite bodybuilder of all time, going against the greatest of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Can he beat the Oak? It's going to be hard for me to be unbiased. Front relax position, slight edge to Arnold because he is bigger. A lot of similarities between these two. Very aesthetically pleasing, big chests. Wow, fantastic, both of these guys. But like I said, Arnold, a little bit bigger. Back developments. Now Robbie may get an edge here. Look at the trap separation. There's a lot of good photos of Robbie's back. Just the straight-on shots, but it's there's no lags in it, so I didn't use them ones. But, man, take a look at them, personally, you guys, and you will figure out that this man had a very underrated back. Arnold's back's good, too. Very good, too. But they were close in the front relaxed, close in the rear relaxed. So let's start the ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, the muscularity round, with a fresh sheet. Nobody's winning, so this is a good matchup, and oh my soul, this is a tough one. The Oak usually mops the floor with anybody in this. There's no thinking involved, and vice versa with Robbie Robinson. My soul, my soul. Arnold a little better in the physique, I think, but the arms. Take a look at Robbie, a bigger set of biceps. I think this is going to need a... Second view, this is more of the same angle of the shots. And Robbie, come on now. I know he's my favorite, but it's almost a curse because I think he does look better here. But is it just me? Am I looking at him through rose-colored glasses? The bicep peak, it ri not only rivals that of the oak, but pretty much beats it. It's so close here, so I I have to mark this down into my little score sheet here that if worse comes to worse i would lean towards robbie in this unbelievably but it's so close that it's not a real point let's go to the front lat spread and oh my goodness this this one is going to be a challenge get your protein shakes ready if the front double bicep had an edge to robbie then the this is so close in the front lat spread that I almost have to give this one to the oak. Whereas Robbie was winning in the bicep region, was the front double bicep after all. Oak is actually winning in the lat region, the lat area. You can see he's a little bit more filled out. The camera is a little bit lower though. I will say to be fair. And I know a lot of people are going to say, you can't tell from these old shots, but hey. These guys are like legends to us. It is fun to compare them and to have these dream matchups. So we, we do what we can do. Wow, the side chest. How many times am I going to have to say, wow, in this one? Every shot is close. These two are built so similar. I can see why Joe Weider selected Robbie Robinson's physique for that infamous Joe Weider bust. That classic Joe Weider symbol that you guys see. At the Olympia every single year, that's Robbie Robinson's physique. Food for thought. But here in the side chest pose, bigger is always better. When all things are equal. And even, even so, I think Arnold may have an edge, even if they were the same size. This side chest, unbelievable of the oak. Side tricep, pretty much a write-off for Arnold because it is a photo shoot picture. And Robbie, he's not snapping it to spec. He liked to hit it a different way. But most of the other shots of him were, were, he was not in his prime. He probably is in his prime here, late 70s. I don't know. I, I'd go for the oak, but of course it's a photo shoot. The lighting, everything's perfect, angling. So we're going to write the side tricep off. Might be a little unfair, but hey, I'm trying to be the most fair that I can in this little competition. Robbie Robinson's my favorite of all time. It's hard to judge your favorites, to tell you the truth. Back developments. This could make or break this competition, and this one is easy for me to judge. 
in back development, the muscularity and the muscle separation alone, Robbie is flattening the oak. This was never the best back pose for Arnold. Few and far between are pitchers of his rear lat spread. As was Robbie. Robbie is most certainly not at his prime here. There was a couple of photo shoot pitchers. You could see Robbie in his prime in the rear lat spread would have been unstoppable. I have no problem giving him a point in this one. Rear double bicep, and this won't be quite so easily for Robbie to defeat the Oak. Now take a look at the arms. This is this is just unreal, this matchup. This should have most certainly been the 1970s Gladiator Round Finals, and I'll get to that at the end of the video. I want to talk about that for a second, Lou Ferrigno and Robbie Robinson. The arm developments, just unreal here on both men. Both men are used to just coming into the competition and just flattening anybody else in that area. But Robbie, Robbie is beating Arnold in the arm department. Delts as well. Look how strong he is. Traps, good on both men. But this is where it's politics have to go out the window. I could easily give this one to Robbie. Favorite bodybuilder of all time. I don't know how many times I can say that because I love celebrating that. He's just so awesome. Awesome. But the Oaks Christmas tree gets him the win in this one. For sure. For sure. Unreal. The Oak. Fantastic rear double bicep. Ab and thigh pose. This is a strange angle. The angle of Robbie's makes his legs look bigger, upper body look smaller, and Arnold, on the contrary, his legs look very slender here. And they were not. This is 74. He had big legs. But we have to go with what we have here. Robbie, he, the, the Black Prince, has some striations, some feathering in his quads, and some deeper cuts in the obliques and the abs. Not the most aesthetically pleasing set of abs, but enough to get a point over the oak. And keep in mind, guys, every point is very precious in this competition. It is close. Most muscular, most certainly goes to the Austrian oak, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nice little outline there for... For both men, for Robbie, not a bad pose, a little underrated for him. It's actually a decent, more than decent pose, the most muscular for Rob. Robert. Anyway, the Austrian Oak, when you look at the chest developments, it's night and day. Austrian just has it. Look at the arms, unreal. So, let's tally these points up. And this is your winner. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the greatest of all time, the Austrian Oak. But I am here to tell you he won by one simple point. This was a very close competition. And what I wanted to mention earlier on at the end of this video is the Lou Ferrigno versus Robbie Robinson match. Very controversial. I had to go with one man and I did go with Lou Ferrigno. I've watched that match many times. I lost sleep over it. It's hard to give my favorite bodybuilder a loss. And when I look back at it, he probably should have won. And now, considering if they had a, had a three-way match between this man, the Oak, Robbie, and Lou. Robbie did so much better against the Oak. It goes without saying he deserved to beat Lou Ferrigno in that matchup. So I retract my decision in that matchup. Robbie Robinson deserved to be in the finals of the 1970s gladiator round finals but Robbie is used to getting jerked around from the IFBB things of that nature he deserved a, an Olympia title maybe two he did win the Masters but heck what are you gonna do at the end of the day people like me see through all that politics and he will always be my favorite bodybuilder of all time and I'm sure there's lots of other people just like me. So whether you love Robbie, and even though he lost, give this video a thumbs up for him anyway. And if you do like the Oak and you think he deserved to, the, to get the win here, also give it a thumbs up. Give it two thumbs ups if you think that Robbie deserved to beat Lou Ferrigno. And if you, you want to know how to give it two thumbs up, you, you give it a thumbs up and then you hit it again and it takes it away and then you, you hit it again. It, doesn't really count as two, but it sure is satisfying. 
Have a great day, guys.